Hello guys, my name is Anatoly and you're watching Define Agile where we talk everything Agile today. I'm going to show you very quickly how to start a sprint. But before we do, I want to tell you two things how I can support you. If you go to description and you go to get my help, I have a pretty short Jira course that goes from basic to advanced in about eight hours so you can learn Jira in about one day. And the second thing is, if you are stuck, your company is doing some things and you're just, I don't know what to do anymore, you can schedule an hour or more hours, as many as you want, with me or someone in my team. You can go to a Calendly link that is after, uh, under the Get My Help as well, and we'll help you out. And if you are one of those who needs a help in an in organizational level, so we can help your whole company with Agile, with Jira, with any other tools, well, go to thefinancial.com, schedule a consultation, and let's see how we can help your business. Now, since we talked about that, let's talk about the gist of this video. And how do we start a sprint? I'm right now in my Scrum project, and you can start sprint only in Scrum, because sprint is part of a Scrum. So if you're in Kanban, or if you're in just project management, or any other type, you won't see an active sprint and your backlog, which here's what you need to go, won't have a sprint backlogs. So in one of the videos before, I already told you that you need to create sprint, which I already did here, and then I just drag and drop from, from backlog to the sprint some of my tickets. And now when I did that, the start sprint button appeared. So now I click on start sprint button, and it tells me a couple of things. First of all, it says they're not estimated. It's very important in uh, Scrum to estimate things because then you can track your velocity and see how well you're doing. So make sure you have story points assigned if you're using story points. If not, all, all good. So then, uh, sprint name. So this says, what are you doing? Let's say you're building a login page. This is your focus. Login page sprint. Or you can give it any name you want. Duration. See, it can be one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks. It's up to you. You probably know your durations. Uh, in my teams, we usually try to stick it there with two or three weeks. One week is too short, to, and then you need to do retrospectives every time. Four weeks, you're forgetting what you're building. So I recommend two weeks, short iterations. And uh, then you can select start date and end date. And when you're selecting two weeks, it's already pre-filled everything for you. The last thing you need to do is to select a sprint goal. What is it you're trying to achieve in this sprint? It needs to be a single goal because every sprint is you're bringing some piece of value to your stakeholders. So just one thing, uh, deliver fully functional login page. Could be a goal. Then click start. And then your active sprint is filled in with issues. And now your team can pick it up, move it from in progress to none. Hope it helps. If you think I brought you value, please like and subscribe because how we can spread this to more and more people. And thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate you and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.